These are the best free video editing apps for Android and iPhone right now. After all the usual testing, in this video, I'm gonna share our shortlist as well as my number one pick for the top free video editor app in 2023. Now, as we're going through, make sure you're checking out the description box below. In there, we share our top recommended tools for the month, as well as other gear and resources and things to help you with your video creation and your YouTube growth. So my two top picks this year come down to VN Video Editor and CapCut. Both of these are absolutely amazing. There is a bunch of features and tools and things built in. Both of them are very, very similar and they're both very easy to use. Both of these now also do have paid options as well, but that's not what we're talking about in this video. You don't need the paid versions. And that's why these two are my top free editing apps right now. Now I'm gonna dive into each one of them to help you decide which one is the right one for you. So VN Video Editor has a really simple, really easy to use interface. It's actually my favorite interface out of the two of these. To me, it's the next level of simplicity, but it also still packs a punch in terms of the features and things that are in there. So it's really clean and easy to use and really quick to find the tools that you need. Now, VM Video Editor does have a Mac desktop version available as well, which is awesome too. And there is a workaround to get it working on Windows as well. So it's cool that you can use the same app, the same interface and everything across your devices. Now you can also transfer your editing projects between your devices as well. But editing wise, you've got a great amount of control over things like your color grading, like your speed speed ramping to be able to speed up and slow down your clips, like keyframing, it's more advanced than the keyframing you get access in CapCut. So if you are someone who really likes to be able to dial everything in and control things, you're gonna get more control in VN. In here, you also get a great amount of control over things like your export settings. You have the ability to customize up the video resolution, the frame rate, and the bit rate. And you can save out videos up to 4K 60 frames per second. So you get much more granularity and control in here than you do with CapCut. Probably my favorite thing with VN Video Editor, as I said, is the overall interface, the editing experience, being fast, being fluid, and really just the way that everything is laid out on separate video layers. It makes it really easy to jump between the different things like your B-roll or your overlay footage, your music. It's more in line with, I guess, traditional video editing apps and tools than having everything compressed to one timeline, which you often see with things like CapCut. Now, in terms of the downsides of the things to be aware of, being a free app, there are ads. There's ads as soon as you open it up. You can skip them a lot of the time, but I guess that's how they're able to make money and offer such an amazing app for free is that there's ads in there. But it is worth noting that there is no watermarks on either of these two apps. And you can always remove the ads if you want to by upgrading to the paid or the pro version. The other thing is, and I guess comparing this to CapCut, is while there is a bunch of effects and transitions and things in here, there is more effects, more transitions and more AI tools and things inside of CapCut. So if you are someone who is looking for the most amount of effects and those sorts of things, then CapCut could be a better option for you. But VN really doesn't have many things behind a paywall or restricted in the free app. So CapCut then is another one with a simple, clean, easy to use interface. Again, I think VN is a little bit nicer, but this one here is still super intuitive and easy and fast to use. Like VN, there's also a CapCut version for desktop for both Windows and Mac. And there's also an online version or a cloud-based version too. So you can pretty much use CapCut everywhere. But I think where CapCut really shines is with the amount of effects and transitions and really cool built-in AI features and tools and things like auto captioning, where it will listen to your video, it will transcribe it, it'll create the text titles and captions for you, and you can customize them up and have them looking amazing. There's also some really cool audio effects and background noise removal. Uh, there's text to speech, there's camera tracking, there's masking, there's motion blur and video stabilization. Like there's a lot of effects and things in here. And I like the way that they've actually integrated a lot of these into the timeline where some of these effects and things, they can actually be added as their own layer or essentially like an adjustment layer. So they're independent of an individual video clip, meaning that some of these effects and things can actually be applied across your entire timeline really, really quickly and easily. They're also adding a bunch of other functionality to the app as well. Things like a built-in camera, a teleprompter, and even retouching tools as well. In terms of downsides or things to be aware of, they are transitioning more and more features to their paid or pro plan, but most things right now are still free. And this is why this is an amazing free app, but who knows where they'll take it from here. So there are some countries that have come out and banned both TikTok and CapCut. So again, I personally don't see this as an issue, but you can make your own call on that. Now it also has a lot of built-in sound effects and music tracks that you can easily add from inside the app 
directly into your edits. But a lot of these are copyright music. And if you're creating content that's gonna be posted outside of TikTok, then you likely could end up with things like copyright claims and strikes against your videos because you actually don't have the rights to use it outside of places like TikTok. Again, I don't think this is a deal breaker at all. I strongly recommend that for any tool that you're using, you're actually sourcing your music externally from places like Artlist and Epidemic Sound. That's where we go and get our music from so that we know that we're compliant. We know that we have the right licensing and things for each of the music tracks that we're using. So just be mindful if you are going to use the built-in music tracks in CapCut, it's pretty much good for TikTok only. Comparing to VN as well, there's definitely not as much control over your export settings. Things like your bit rate or the video quality. You get to choose if you're gonna export as a low bit rate, recommended or high, but it doesn't actually say what each one of those three things are. Whereas with VN, you're able to dial that specific setting in to really customize up your video export the way that you want it. And I guess the last thing that's worth noting with CapCut is that some of those effects and tools and things, especially some of the AI ones, they do need an internet connection. So if you are gonna be editing on the plane or somewhere where you don't have access to internet, then some of those things won't work. Again, not gonna be a deal breaker for most people, something to be aware of. So those are my top two free video editing apps right now, VN and CapCut. Now, if I had to pick one winner out of the two, it's a pretty tough call. For me, what I use personally, if I'm just gonna edit some short videos for Instagram stories, for reels, for shorts, I normally right now jump straight into VN Video Editor. But if it is something where I wanna add in a bunch of effects, I wanna add those captions and things, then I'll jump into CapCut. So there really is, as far as I'm concerned, no real clear winner. I like the editing and the interface of VN, but CapCut is also an amazing option all around for simple edits too, but also having the extra levels of effects and transitions and things in there too. So I guess the TLDR really is, you can get great results with either one of them. Now to help you edit and master both of these apps, check out the links in the description box below because we have tutorials on both of them. And I've also got a bunch of other resources and things down there to help you as well. So now that you have your free video editing app sorted, if you wanna learn how to master your smartphone filming, so that you can create better videos with your phone and check out the video linked on screen and I'll see you in there.